Hi guys, I'm leaving Manchester today and I'm heading on to Glasgow. So the train station was about a 30 minutes walk from the hotel I had lodged. I decided to walk, you know, count my steps while I'm burning some calories. But guess what happened? The direct train I had booked from Manchester to Glasgow was cancelled. At this point, I started panicking because I had never ridden on a train before. I don't know how the train system works. And so I approached some people but they were very uncautious of me. I do not blame them because if I was in their shoes, I might have done the same too. From panic, I turned to prayer. I started praying. I said, God, this is not I'm going to lost on this first solo trip like this in this foreign land. God, I beg. Then I met this lady. She happened to book that same train that was cancelled and she helped me throughout the whole journey to get to Glasgow. We need to look for one that's leaving after 10 o'clock. So I imagine the one we would have been on would have been this one. Well, it's cancelled. But that's, we know that's cancelled, right? So the next one we've got going to Glasgow. That's cancelled too? Cancel as well. Seriously? Why did everything cancel? You we could go to Edinburgh and then go to Glasgow. Okay, so we could goes. do that. We could do that. One time I decided to just come to the UK and book a yeah. straight direct to get the council of they just cancel on me tell me what I've been said what we do is we get over to the other side yeah. and that's where all the, the office is there's the a office. waiting room and stuff like that Stairs are like short. <laughs> we went to the ticket office here at Preston, spoke to them about the cancel ticket, and they told us to just wait. But we had to wait for three hours, and then I decided to read before the next train came in. Thank you so much, Lilia. You're very welcome. <laughs> She's like, over there. <laughs> Is it this one? No. I know. I know. I'll be here in Glasgow for less than 24 hours actually. I'm walking now to the dorm which I had booked online prior in the United States. This is what it looks like. It's looking fancy. Run away with me. <clears throat> looking fancy. And anyways, I was skeptical about getting this dorm because the reviews I had seen was that like there's a club directly opposite the dorm and it's usually very noisy at night and I was just really hoping that I wouldn't fall victim to the noise from the club but it was pretty much cheap it was about 26 euro per night and I've stayed for one night basically I'm paying for a crib that's a bunk in the female dorm and this is what it looks like about eight females should fit in here or more ten I'm not really sure, I can't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, say about 10 females should be in this dorm. But one thing about this um, package was that it has its own in room bathroom and toilet, which I preferred. I didn't want to share bathroom, so only the females in this dorm could use that um, specific bathroom. And this is, I think, opposite there is the club. This is what the bathroom looks like. So each one of us in the dorm has access to this compared to the public place and this is the lounge area of the dorm has some books we can read but i didn't come to read books so i said to go out and tour the city of glasgow and this is me enjoy <music> I 
that's the name of the game. So enjoy. <laughs> Today was a really long day for me. I returned back to the dorm late at night and luckily for me, the club wasn't open. So I slept in peace without any noise. I'm just gonna catch some sleep so I can make it early on time to the train station for Edinburgh. for the Edinburgh Castle. It's pretty cold. I look like a masquerade now with my red <laughs> sweatshirt and my orange scarf. I had to put on my orange my sweatshirt on my turtleneck because it wasn't working at all. It's cold. It's like 15 to 14 degrees. When I left Texas it was like 35 degrees Celsius. So why is it cold? I didn't prepare for this. <sighs> Bruh. lunch from the store it's um scottish smoked salmon and cream cheese i couldn't go on the tour again because i don't know something is just happening all the trains to manchester are cancelled i'm supposed to go back to gay but it's not possible anymore i'm just trying to find my way out of edinburgh because i don't want to stay here tonight so i just stopped in front and then i'm heading back to train station to see what's going on they're on rear strike so it's just affecting a lot of things i think i came at the wrong time <laughs> Be fine. Yeah. Right. I made it back to the train station at Edinburgh and tried to get tickets to go back to Manchester but unfortunately no direct tickets, no train going to Manchester. So I had to route to Glasgow, still no train and so my classmate who had picked me up initially from Manchester airport said to find somewhere close to where he stays and he could come pick me up and then I found the one going to York. Let's see if I can make it tonight because I'm so cold, I'm so hungry, like I'm feeling sick at this point.
Like King's Mines and everything like that. In the sun. 